Hey, see here, and welcome back to Seascast, the podcast in which I talk about news that I've seen throughout the week and also anything else that I might want to talk about. This week I have a fair amount of news I want to discuss, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. First of all, last time we talked about Windows 12 and now it's starting to sound like it won't happen after all. Not because it's not gonna get released, but because it might be a Windows 11 update instead. Now, this article goes a little more in depth about it, but the main thing is, it is still speculation at this point, but the main theory is that two buckets are better than three. So basically, as I said as well last episode, I couldn't go to Windows 11 because of a hardware upgrade barrier, is how the article puts it. I put it as, my computer is very bad, it is so shitty that it can't even handle <laughs> Windows 11, so it's not gonna be able to handle Windows 12, and there's gonna be many people stuck on Windows 10, many people who are not gonna want to go from Windows 11 to Windows 12, and other people that are gonna want to go there, or are gonna buy new computers with Windows 12, and that is just gonna be so many people with three different operating systems and that just is not ideal really for Microsoft so I th the speculation at this point is that Windows 12 is not gonna be Windows 12 but it is gonna be Windows 11 24 hour 2 or something 24H2 <laughs> and yeah I don't know if that's better or worse but Considering their focus on AI, and so many people are not gonna want that, making it an update means that it is basically gonna be mandatory. You can still decide not to update, I'm pretty sure, but that means that your computer, your operating system is gonna be out of date. So, I don't know, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I'm leaning towards no, <laughs> but who knows, maybe it's actually gonna be for the best. And now for some comic book news, Marvel dramatically rewrites the history between Nightcrawler and Mystic. I love the X-Men, and actually spoilers ahead for X-Men Blue Origins number one in case you read the comic books, but this is so interesting to me because I love the X-Men and I love Mystique in particular and I've always wanted a film all about Mystique and this just cements that idea that there is so much material on Mystique they really should make, if not a movie, a series about it I'm sure that it will have a huge success but I don't know why they're still not doing it but there's so much material on it and Again, spoilers ahead, in case you want to just skip forward and not get spoiled, I did put chapters in, at least I, I, I hope I did, in the description so that you can go right ahead to the next piece of news, but spoilers incoming. So basically, at first we thought that Azazel, a literal devil, was Nightcrawler's father, and now we found out that that's not exactly the entire truth because it's not Azazel who was the father, it was Mystique who was the father. Mystique is literally Nightcrawler's father, because we found out that their shape-shifting ability doesn't only change appearance, but the entire genetic composition. So she was actually Azazel, she was the entire genetic composition of Azazel was in Mystique when she conceived Nightcrawler with Destiny. And in case you didn't know, Mystic is also a raging homosexual in a relationship with Destiny, her lover. So yeah, I'm not gonna go about explaining the birds and the bees, but Mystic and Destiny were able to conceive Nightcrawler just on their own. And to explain the whole Mystique abandoning Nightcrawler thing, they did what they, <laughs> I feel, often do, and explained it with just Magneto changed their memories. And 
yeah, it is very sad. And if you want to know more about it, you can go to IGN and read the whole article. And uh, if I remember, I will put it down <laughs> in the description down below. But then from Marvel to DC, Amazon just quietly released the best Batman movie of the year. Now, I was planning to watch this movie before recording this, but life got in the way, as it tends to do, and I wasn't able to do it, but it looks really fun. It is a Christmas movie, and it's all about Batman and mini Batman. <laughs> it was all about um, Bruce and his actual son, Damien. And he looks adorable, so let's watch this trailer together, because I don't think I've even watched this. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see. Oh, Batman with a beard? I love the art style already. This looks so cute. Oh my god. I love the style. Which should only be used in case of a bat emergency. <laughs> I love it! Totally Look at his beard! You have donut crumbs in your intimidation game, sir. <laughs> I'm the worst dad ever. Oh, you are. It is pretty tragic how bad of a dad you are, yeah. That one just leaves nothing to the imagination. <laughs> oh? Made me a bat suit? That looks a bit oh, too sorry. big. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh! Wait until they get a load of me. This is so cute! Alright, which one of you gave a little kid explosives? <laughs> Merry little button. This is so cute! I can't wait. I can't wait to watch it. I need to watch it. It looks adorable. And now for the next bit of news, I don't want to go too into detail about it because it's gonna contain spoilers for the specials, which are still pretty new, but the new Doctor Who debut felt like a tiny whammy slap to the face, and Doctor Who blew its big hand off. These are only two of the many articles that I've seen thrown about, in which basically fans were not a fan of the new regeneration that Doctor Who did, and spoiler for the specials, but basically the new regeneration wasn't a full regeneration, it was a apparently rare by generation and what that means is that now there's gonna be two doctors going around one is gonna be Cody who is the 15th doctor and the other one is gonna be 10 slash 14 who is still there with Donna having a fun family time being the fun uncle to Rose and um yeah, I don't. A lot of people say that that's just a coward move, because uh, you know it's just not gonna give the credit, the due credit to Kudi's doctor, because there's always gonna be ten there. The fan favorite is always gonna be there, and people knowing that he's there, people are gonna want him, right? You're having a black doctor, and you don't want to give him the proper baton pass. Um, I kind of agree with that, but also I really loved the ending for 10. And I feel like that is an ending. They're not gonna go back to 10. Maybe for some specials here and there. Maybe they want to reserve that right. But they're not gonna go back to 10. So I feel like that is an ending and it is a pretty good ending for the Doctor to finally retire. I do see what they mean by pointing out that that was a coward move. They could have done better, but I do like the ending for 10 and I am excited to see what Nkudi's Doctor is gonna look like. And now for the Batman news section. Hasbro's Christmas layoffs have deeply impacted the D&D and Magic teams. Hasbro really doesn't want to be known as the good guy, do they? Because it will roughly cut 1100 jobs. Added to the 800 layoffs made earlier this year, I think it was in February of this year. Like, uh, this is... Oh my god, this is just less than one third of the company's entire labor force. That is ju just so much. And let's not forget about the whole OGL thing that is still not fully resolved. 
so we shouldn't let that one go <laughs> either. This like Hasbro really cements its reputation as being an awful parent company to Wizards of the Coast. And now before we move on to the last piece of news, I want to give a shout out to this article. Not only because of its contents, in which it says that Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom will not get another sequel, but also because of how concise it is. Because look at it, it's just that. <laughs> and so often with news outlets, they pick a single tweet and make a whole huge article out of nothing. It is still news, it is still newsworthy, but they're not gonna pretend like there's more to say about it. And I love this. I really wish that more outlets were like this because there's, it's just that. There's nothing else to add. <laughs> but for the last piece of news, more bummer news because E3 got cancelled. Gaming's most famous event killed off for good. And I do understand the reasons. They're really good reasons. They're really valid reasons. And uh, actually it might be a good thing that uh, E3 got cancelled for good. But I am still sad because E3 was a staple of the gaming community. The main reason is because the biggest company, like starting with Nintendo with their Nintendo Direct, but also now we have PlayStation and Xbox doing their own thing as well, they don't need E3 anymore. They rather do their own thing at their own pace. And the indie devs as well found that it is a lot cheaper to go to PAX or to the Game Awards for their announcements instead of going to E3. So uh, basically there's just too much competition for Heath E3 to keep up and that is really sad especially because I hate with a passion the Game Awards doing trailers because that is not what the game awards should be about the game they want it to be the oscars of gaming the oscars don't have trailers <laughs> like it's just it's just stupid it's i don't like it i hate it and that is even more reason to be kind of mad that e3 is getting cancelled because of the game awards as well it's not just because of the game awards but the game awards are part of the reason and I, I'm mad about it, but mainly I'm sad that E3 got cancelled. And yeah, that was the last piece of news for today. Unfortunately, I don't have any more time to talk about other things because I miscalculated how much that was gonna take. Today I had more news than I did the last couple of weeks, so I kind of, uh, yeah, I miscalculated. <laughs> so, no more time. But one thing that I do want to talk about is my schedule going forward for the channel because I'm not going to be able to upload content or stream anymore uh, for the rest of the year, but I am going to have a one-off going out on Christmas Eve, and after that I'm going to see you next year with some exciting new content, and I hope to see you there. Yeah, as I said, that's all the time that I have for today, so let's discuss this news in the comments as always, and also let me know if you have any feedback on these few episodes so far, because I'm gonna be making some changes in the next year, and I want to know what you think I should change about these episodes. Do you think I should just focus on news? Do you want me to talk about anything in particular? Um, I don't know, just let me know in the comments if you have any feedback at all. Other than that though, like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you next year. Bye!